welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I hope you're having a great day. Our garden is producing so much and I gathered some squash and instead of cooking it like I've cooked it before, I used a brand new contraption that I bought and I will link it here where I got it. It's a three-in-one vegetable cutter and you like, I, here's a potato, and I would just put it on top. I'm too far away, let me see. I'm just going to show you how I did it. And that's the potatoes. Do you see? Perfect. So I did that with the squash, and I made, I'm making French fried squash. Now what I did, I just used one squash for Harold and me. I'm heating my oil, and I want it to heat to 350 degrees. It's there. So, I put two eggs in here and just poured some milk. I didn't measure it. And I'm going to sprinkle them with the Y'all Brand Fancy Steakhouse. I'm going to sprinkle that in here. Not measuring. And I'm going to do the Y'all Brand Southern Secret. And just mix that real good. And I'm going to put my squash in there. And then I have some flour. I have about a half a cup of self-rising flour. But I'm also going to add just a little cornmeal. Because that is what I use when I fry my squash normally. So I've got this. Put it in here, put it all around so I'm coating all of that squash. All right, I'll drop that in here. Yeah, that's perfect. It's not going to take it long, but according to how many people you're wanting to feed, you may want to do um, two or more squash, but I just did one, and y'all, that's going to be plenty for us. It's not going to take long. I'm just going to put this in here and just kind of let it sit. I love the fancy steakhouse seasoning. That's my favorite. But of course, the, the um, southern secret is onion and garlic. So, that's going to be really good. Oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. Now, I'm going to wash my hands right now. Y'all, I, uh, when I saw this, I thought, I really need that because we love fried potatoes, and what I'm going to do when I take this up is I'll just drop those potatoes in there. But these are going to be delicious. I turned that down. I hope I didn't turn it down too much. Turn it back up. But you see how it's just perfect. It wasn't real expensive at all. So I will link it. And if you want to buy you one, um, 
you can do it and I think you'll like that. Y'all saw the other day when I was chopping um, my onions and I forgot what else, bell peppers, I think. I brought my chopper, I've had that for probably eight or nine years. So I ordered a different one and I'll share that with you also. Let me get some paper towels because we'll take this up. I should not have turned that heat down as much as I did. But I didn't want them to burn either. So, you just have to... Oh, I, I would fry them for sure on 350 degrees. Let's see where we are. It's going up, so I think we're about to get there. We're not quite there, so. But <clears throat> you can put any kind of seasoning you would like. But I thought we needed onion and garlic, and that's the <clears throat> southern secret. And the fancy steakhouse, it just has all kinds of spices. So you're not going to go wrong using that. But this is about to be golden. And you'll be able to see tonight I'm going to have these French fried squash. I'm cooking some purple hull peas from last year's garden. And I've made a little pile of cornbread. It just came off. Let me show you. I hadn't even turned it over yet. I just make a little skillet for us because we don't need a big skillet unless we're having company. And I'm going to slice some tomatoes and cucumbers and onions. We don't have meat, but we don't need it because this is so good. So good, just like it is. But um, I just wanted you to see how easy this is. Now, if you don't have this, this chopper uh, cutter, and oh, I need to tell you one other thing. It has another blade that you can cut an apple. But the only thing that I read, it doesn't have the, the core. It'll cut it, but you'll have to cut that little core out of the pieces. But I bought it for my vegetables. That's what I bought it for, but I'm gonna use it for an apple for sure. I want them a little more golden. But that is it's perfect, just perfect. I'm sure you could do zucchini, uh, any of the vegetables. It says on here that you don't, um, it says it's really good for potatoes, onions, peppers, and carrots. You could do carrot sticks. And um, for the fruit, it says uh, lemons, oranges, apples, and pears. But it says you don't try to put a tomato in there because they're soft and that would probably make a mess. But anyway, take these up. And I'm, I'm going to put these others in and uh, sprinkle a little salt. And I didn't put salt on it because you might want to try it because I think the Y'all brand seasoning is um, would have enough that you really wouldn't need very much salt. But we're going to drop these others in and they're hot enough, it's hot enough now, that I really think these are not going to take long. Harold's not real fond of squash unless it is fried. But now he is, he'll eat it, but fried is his favorite. Try it. 
trying not to get the extra flour. I'll be making, having to use my, dump my grease. Do y'all keep your grease? Uh, like if you're just frying potatoes or something, I do. But if it gets flour in the bottom, I wouldn't be able to. Okay. But y'all see how this is right here. And remember, I'm going to link um, how you can get this if you want it. If you don't, you can just slice them like french fries and do that. I, I think that would be neat and, and it's just something different. Whew, that's hot. I was going to taste one. Can't. It would burn my mouth. But y'all, thank you so much for joining me and um, go to Home with Mama Sue because I'm showing you my garden on that page, showing you total different things. So it'll be linked here and please follow me. I've got, I've got 655,000 followers here and I only have 40,000 on the other. So some of y'all are not following me. I think you'll like it too. But y'all, just remember Jesus loves you. There's nothing you have done that could ever cause him not to love you. Be salt and light wherever you go. You know, if, if, um, Salt, the Bible says if salt loses its flavor, it's not good for anything. So as Christians, we need to be salt. We need to be good to share the love of Jesus with others. But anyway, thank you for joining me, and I'll be back soon.